Carefully read each problem before writing your answer. At the county fair, a small drink costs 75 cents. Lisa and her three friends each buy a small drink. They pay with a $5 bill. How much change should they receive? We know by reading through the problem that the small drinks cost 75 cents. How many people buy drinks? Lisa and her three friends buy the drinks. So we can figure out the money spent was 0 0.75, which is another way of writing 75 cents. Multiply that by four, you're going to get $3. Is this what they asked us to find? No. How much change should they receive? They paid with a $5 bill. That's right, I make the big bucks here. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, they paid with a $5 bill, but they spent three. So they're going to get $2 in change. If the total number of faces on a triangular pyramid is subtracted from the total number of faces on a cube, what is the result? To get the result, it's a good idea to visualize what they're asking you to find. A triangular pyramid is something like this, for example. It has a triangular base and its pyramid. How many faces does this have? One, two, three, four. Go ahead and write that down. What about a cube? How many faces does this have? Well, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And what do they want? They want you to subtract this value from this value. And with subtraction, order counts. So it's this from this means we write the six first minus the four. The result is two. Here are some reminders for when you are completing this extended constructed response task. Carefully read each part of the task before writing your response. Be sure to complete all parts of the task. Clearly explain your answer and show all your work. The Noteworthy Music Shop sells CDs in its store locations for $13 each. They're trying to attract online buyers by offering deals through their website. CDs purchased online cost $10 each. For online purchases, there is a one-time processing fee of $2.50 per order and a shipping charge of $1.50 per CD. Use the above information to complete the following. The cost to buy NCDs in the store could be found using C equals $13 times N. Write an equation that could be used to find the cost of NCDs purchased online. If a customer wanted to buy 8 CDs, which method would be a better choice? Explain your answer using information from the problem. We're interested in finding a costs equation. What do we know? The CDs purchased online cost $10 a piece. So it's $10 times number of CDs. Well, we're going to have N CDs purchased. 
there is also a one-time processing fee of $2.50. So I need to add that to my cost equation. And you do not multiply this by N because it's just a one-time fee. Anything else? Yes, there is a shipping charge of $1.50 per CD plus $1.50. Now, since this is per CD, you have to also multiply this by N. I can simplify this. Just add these two up. You're combining like terms. And you're going to get $11.50 times N plus $2.50. And this is my online cost equation. To answer the second part of this task, all you need to do is write down both equations and replace N with 8, since that's the number of CDs. For the in cost equation, they gave us this right here. C equals $13 times N. And the one we just figured out is right here. So just replace the ends with eight. And here I simplified it. I removed the dollar signs and extraneous zeros. If you compute this, you get 104. And here you're going to get 94.5. So to officially answer the question, you would write down on the test that the customer would make a better choice by ordering the eight CDs online, since total cost would be $94.50 versus an in-store cost of $104.